Uh, if you can learn self-defense techniques from some of the best Krav Maga instructors, uh, here's your chance. Casey Montoya, live right now in West LA with all the details. Good morning to you, Casey. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Good morning. Yeah, you can actually learn this afternoon for free. We'll talk about that more in detail. But I'm with Kelly Campbell now at Krav Maga Worldwide here in West LA. And we're going to learn a move right now. And I've practiced it a couple times. Uh, I won't lie. I'm not doing it for the first time. But this is what you would do if somebody comes up from behind you and tries to attack you or abduct you. So we explain what they're doing. Right. So when um, someone grabs you from behind, they're trying to, in, in this particular attack, to move you. So you're going to make yourself heavy. And you also want to get out of their grip. When someone puts their hand around your mouth, um, one, it could cut your airway off, but even more dangerous if they have some kind of chemical. So I want to remove the hand right away. So what's happening here is if I have I have Kat and Rob, um, when the attack happens, what she's going to do is she's going to drop, she's going to pluck strongly to remove that hand. And now what she's doing is she's making herself heavy. So if he tries to move and lift her right now, it's a little bit harder. He takes her forward. But what's more important is that she's going to immediately start striking with violent counterattacks to stop that fight and turn into the fight. And she keeps finishing him off until he's no longer a threat. Right. Um, and this is the one, um, I guess I can try this one. Yes. It looks easy enough. So we'll go over this. I promise not to hurt you. Actually, I don't promise not to don't hurt promise, you. Don't right? promise, so, right? So this is if I'm getting attacked from behind. Right. And I'd like you to actually stand with your hands down. And I want you to close your eyes. Oh, boy. OK? OK. Go ahead and close your eyes. Good pluck, strike to the groin, groin, groin. Good, strike, strike. Awesome Sorry. job, good job. I don't want to kick See? you in the wrong places though. Now explain exactly what I was doing. I'll go through it kind of in slow motion with you. The right. eyes closed because you don't expect that it's coming. Right, so you were really prepared. You had your hands up and you were very prepared. So I wanted to put you in a position of disadvantage, which is what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So as soon as something comes around and you made a good pluck to remove the hand, okay. you lowered your center of gravity and you immediately sent those strikes to his groin. And now he's on the office. So you're going for vulnerable areas, right? And as you turn in, you're elbowing to the throat and to the face, and then you're gonna exit out. Not before giving him a nice kick. Nice strikes to vulnerable areas so that you can go home safely. Okay. It's a little intimidating, but it is a lot easier than it looks. And if you want to try this for yourself, you can this afternoon. And are you going to be there? Yes, I will be at the at the ship this afternoon. Okay, this is in San Pedro from 1 to 3. And I guess you're expecting at least 30 to 40 people and all ages. It's and cool. it's free, which is the best part. Yes, and Krav Maga is meant for everyone. You could be a beginner, no experience at all. Um, and you can uh, you can come in. So it's open for all ages. Um, fitness levels as well. All right, I am a little out of breath and it does have the adrenaline pumping, so um, that's good, good experience. And we'll learn more self defense and how you can protect your family if somebody comes up and tries to attack someone else that you happen to be with next hour. Good stuff. Way to go, Casey. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't when, mess when with her. She said she didn't want to hit him in the wrong place. That's actually, in this particular case, the right place. Right. There you go.